Hello friends, good evening. Today I would like to show you how payroll and pay slip can be generated on different methods. But the final thing is work entries as per the new configuration. So when I am doing any contract with any employee, it will ask me to work entry source and whereby we have three sources right now. One is working schedule, second one is planning and third one is based on attendance but everything as a source will convert into work entry finally and then we can define the monthly wages which is fixed wage 10,000 uh, rupees per month and based on attendance it will work and here is my salary structure I have defined and which is part of regular pay structure so regular pay structure with unpaid uh, work entry type okay over here and uh, uh, then uh, the everything is as per the basic over here default work entry type is attendance over here which will help me to convert my attendance into work so first I have created my attendances over here if you can see group by employee you can see entire May month attendance is over here okay from first day to 31st everything is there so if I go to attendance and then I directly go to work entries. So inside work entries last month, month of May, I can see entire work entry on 29th. I have marked unpaid leave to run one example. Okay. And as soon as I go to all pay sleep and uh, then I can just, you know, remove the old other one. Or let it be, I will create a new one for the employee Mustafa Rahi for that pay slip and for the month of May. Okay, so it will directly give me input of working days as well as the number of leave. And as soon as I compute this sheet, it will come here, which says the draft mode for all. Okay. So what I have to do is I need to go to directly, uh, you know, cancel this first. I need to go to work entries, last month work entries. I will simply remove and then I will generate pay slip. So there are three pay slip generated. Now over here and Finally, go and inside pay sleep, Mustafa Rahi. I would like to compute the sheet. So, recompute the entire sheet, and now I can have a figure of 9560 according to the working hours, and one day is unpaid leave, which is calculated. If I convert this, my work entries, let's say previous month over here, I say it's consider attendance, but let me remove this. Now it will mark my attendance and I go to all basically and pick up this, this rejected one and here is the new one. I want to recompute and it will give me the entire amount of 10,000. Okay, so this is how my attendance converted into my pay slip. This is the first case. Okay, now we will run the second case. Another contract, day one salary contract, which is based on working schedule. Okay, where I have defined 6,000 per month and based on working schedule, again, employee, fixed wage, regular pay based on attendance. Okay, so working schedule is nothing but my working time, which is here. So based on this standard, I will directly be able to generate my pay slip. So if I go to work entries and let me remove everything, 
Okay. So if I go by employee dev one, let me delete all the entries. Dev one all the entries. So it is blank now. For dev two also, let me remove everything. Okay, Mustafa Rai, just we have run a payroll. So now I go to work entries and I will create a new work entries. Okay, for entire month, for previous month. Let me refresh it. Because I do have some pay slips, let me discard those one. So it will not harm anything over here. Okay. Simply cancel, simply cancel the one which we have run. So I will keep this continue. Rest all I will simply discard. Okay. So this is also I will discard. Now I go back to my work entries. So here, let me go back to my day one contract based on working schedule. So I'm regenerating work entries for the month of May for developer one. So for developer one, I can see entire work entry has been generated now. If I go back to my payslip, it is Mustafa Rahi payslip. If I want to do payslip to day one for the month of May, it will directly put my attendance as a base from work entry directly. So that's the different I can directly compute my work entry based on this way. And the third one is the contract. The third one is day of two salary, which is based on planning. But planning and here I have take a twist. It is hourly basis wage 200 rupees per hour. Okay, that is my plan uh, and based on planning it will create work entry source so for dev 2 what i need to do is i need to launch planning planning is a very good module which can you know uh, launch entire planning for a resource so here day one day two everything you can see uh, in the plan in the month of may you can see this planning i can simply uh, you know remove this planning i don't want it anymore okay but here I will launch Dev2 planning for month of May from 1st May to let's say 1 to 12th. I want to launch a planning which is allocated 96 hours in total. Okay. I say publish this plan. So it will launch my planning for this Dev2 for this duration for 96 hours in total. So this plan is done and based on planning now i will see dev to work entries over here you can see so based on planning only it will create my work entries and if i now want to create developer 2 for the month of may it will directly take 12 days 96 hours and i say compute sheet so basic salary I just need to check. So I just remove that. I say compute sheet. Recompute whole sheet. Now it gives 19,200 as my salary for 96 hours of working. Based on my planning, it generated my salary slip. 
So ultimately, the final thing is work entries to calculate my salary slip. So anything you give in contract, whether it's attendance, whether it's working schedule, whether it's planning, but final is work entry, work entry source, which we would require to calculate our salary. And you can select anything like uh, fixed wage, hourly wage, and then uh, this thing can work. So work entries is required. How work entries can be generated that I showed you today. Next time I will do more things in uh, this salary leaves and everything and then we'll generate another video. Hope this will help uh, to many people to decide how salary can be generated. Thank you very much.